what's up my name is Gabby and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how I did a DIY TV stand using the IKEA Calyx system I'm so excited to be shooting this video for you guys if you like it go ahead and give me a thumbs up comment down below with any recommendations and don't forget to hit subscribe if you like all things home decor I'm actually in the process of redecorating my living room and I'm definitely filming that for you all so make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss it and if you decide to do this DIY I would love to see it go ahead and share it with me on Instagram my at name is Gabby Kaz and I'll also leave my info down below now let's get on with the DIY this is the IKEA Calyx system I basically want to put legs on this and then Ikea actually sells drawer inserts for these um, like doors that you can like pull open and stuff and so I want to do two doors and then keep the baskets on the outside. So the first thing that I want to do with this TV stand is add legs. To do this you're going to need four legs and four leg plates. I ended up getting my legs from Amazon, they came in a set of four, and I also got my leg plates from Lowe's I believe, and they also came in a set of four. I also made sure to get my legs at five inches, but I would say as long as you stick to anywhere between three to six inches, you'll be fine. All the legs came in a natural wood finish, but I wanted them to be white, so I went ahead and I spray painted them using the Rust-Oleum Ultra Cover Paint and Primer in the color Gloss White. I did about one to two coats and then let it air dry overnight. Once your legs are dry, you're gonna wanna attach them to the TV stand. This part is actually surprisingly easy. You're first gonna wanna start by measuring where you want the legs to go. I did two inches off either side on all four corners. And then you're gonna wanna tape it down so that the leg plates don't move. To make it easy to screw in the leg plates, I actually went ahead and did four pilot holes on all four corners of the leg plates. Once you have all four pilot holes in place, you're going to want to go ahead and just screw them in. Once all the leg plates are in, you can go ahead and just screw in the legs. But of course, not everything is easy. The bolts on my legs ended up being way too long for the actual leg plates. So I had to make a hole into the actual TV stand for the excess bolt to fit into. I did this by attaching the leg plates to the legs. Then I taped off the drill bit to show how far the hole had to go. So now that your leg plates are in, you're basically almost done. The next step is to insert the two IKEA doors. They also sell drawers. Um, I went with the doors because that's what I wanted, but I'll link both of them down below. First, you're gonna wanna attach the hinges to the doors. I look so dumb using a drill. You can definitely use a screw for this. Now you're gonna wanna attach the doorknobs. I actually spray painted the doorknobs as well so that it could match my space. I used the Rust-Oleum Metallic spray paint in the color Metallic Champagne Gold. You can also insert your own knobs. I plan on doing this in the future, but for right now, this is what I had. Once you finish up with the doors, you're gonna want to attach the door insert to the actual unit. Ikea is going to give you this plastic looking hook thing. You're going to use this to actually measure out where you want the insert to be placed and then mark it off with a pencil. Once you mark it out with the pencil and everything is lined up, you can go ahead and screw in the door insert. To attach the door hinge to the TV stand, you're going to want to start by attaching it with the A and the arrow facing you. And you're gonna wanna go ahead and screw in the hinge in the A hole on the top and the bottom. So now that the actual hinge part is attached to the TV stand, you can place the door onto the hinge. So you're gonna wanna line it up and pull the door towards you until you hear a click. Once the door is in place, you can go ahead and tighten the actual hinge. This part's a little fidgety, so you really just have to play around with it till you get it. They have these little like plastic rubber things to help close the door, like not slam it. So you can definitely put that on.
TV stand. It was super simple and easy, and this is super duper customizable to match whatever space you wanna put this in. This DIY was so simple and easy, and it was very affordable. I think everything together came out to between $100 and $125. I'll leave the final price here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making it for you all. If you enjoyed my DIY, go ahead and leave suggestions down below with any other DIYs you want me to do. Like I said, make sure you share yours with me on Instagram. I'll leave my handle here once again. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day. See you later. Bye.